In this lesson, we're going to add a dormer to the pitched roof above the link between the east and west wings. Unfortunately, there's no roof dormer button. And once you go through this exercise, you'll realize that there's no real easy way to add a roof dormer. But I'm here to say it can be done, and we're going to do it right now. The deal is, we need to actually edit the footprint of the roof. Then we need to split the area of the roof that has become the dormer. We add a couple of slope barriers and we have a dormer. But actually, the first thing we're going to have to do to fix is the third floor floor plan and introduce a new topic called view range. As you can see, we have a dormer in here. Take a look at my example here. Here's a dormer we're going to put in. It's pretty nice, right? It's the same 912 pitch. Doesn't quite make it to the ridge, which is kind of the way we want it. We want it lower than the ridge. It's laid out symmetrically and against the front fascia. Go to the third floor floor plan. Not much of a roof plan, is it? The problem is, our cut range is too low. As I explained before, the cut range actually cuts a floor plan so we can see it. A floor plan is nothing more than a plan section. The problem is, it's cutting our roof, too. We need to alter the view range. In the properties of the floor plan, let's scroll down until we find view range. There's an edit button here, let's click it. The primary range, the cut plane in the bottom. Let's discuss what this is. The top, picture yourself standing on the roof level, looking up. This is how far we can see above the roof level. Right now, it's only seven foot six. Let's go unlimited. Sky's the limit here. Cut plane, this is where Revit is gonna physically cut the item. Anything above that cut, you're not gonna be able to see. Let's give it an offset of 25 feet. The bottom, and the view depth level, we're not worried about right now. So let's hit apply. Let's hit OK. That's a much better floor plan. OK, let's hack this sucker up. Go ahead and select the roof. Then click on the Edit Footprint button. This is how you modify a roof after it's been modeled. The objective here is to split two points here, make this non-sloping, and we're going to put two slope arrows in to give us a pitch that comes back to the roof. What I want you to do first is, on the Modify Roofs Edit Footprint tab, go to the Modify panel and click the Split button, or type SL. Move your X-Acto knife down four feet from the edge and pick it. Move your X-Acto knife up four feet from the edge and pick that bottom corner. Hit Escape a couple times. Notice now we have three lines, all in which are sloping. This is going to confuse the heck out of Revit. This line here, we need to select it and uncheck the find slope. So that brings up a good point. We have the overall properties of the roof, if you hit escape. Basic roof, pitched roof, you see all the properties here for the roof. But now when I select one of these lines, we physically have properties for each line as well. Keep that in mind as you're sketching roofs. Okay, the next thing I'd like to introduce to you are slope arrows. The concept is we add a slope arrow from the end point to the midpoint, from the end point to the midpoint, and it's going to physically break this line, raise it up to the point we need, and drive it back. Pick the slope arrow line on the draw panel. We're going to go from the end point here to the midpoint. Click slope arrow again. Gonna go from endpoint to midpoint. Hit escape a couple times. Holding down the control key, select this slope arrow, select this slope arrow, and let's alter the properties. We want to specify slope. Our slope will remain nine on 12. Nine inch rise to 12 inch run. Click apply. On the mode panel, click finish edit mode. We have a beautiful new dormer. Go to a 3D view. How did Revit know to attach the wall to it? We told it to attach the wall before. This wall is attached to the roof. One thing to look at, however, are these horrible gaps in the wall. Well, I always maintain I'm all about precision and I had you leave some big holes in the wall. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda did it on purpose, just to bring up a point. This roof is appended to level three. We also have a corridor parapet level that we didn't put the roof on, that we should have put the roof on. What I'd like you to do is hold the control key, select this roof, 
and then this roof. For the base level, instead of level 3, hit the drop down and put it on corridor parapet and click apply. This is where the roof is supposed to be. Any gaps are gone. So that means we want to go to the corridor parapet level and we want to adjust our view range consistent with what we did on level 3. In the properties, scroll down to view range, click edit, let's set the top to unlimited, let's set the cut plane to 25 feet. Hit apply, hit OK, and there it is. Type ZA, hit the save button, and there we are. I truly believe that Revit has enough tools that you can find the right ones and combine them to force the program to behave. By modifying the footprint of the roof, we were able to break the roof and add the slope arrows we needed to force a pitch along the ease of the roof.